Hi everyone, you're very welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Setra. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to become a nurse in the UK. There are several ways of becoming a nurse in the UK. So I'm going to be talking through each of them. However, in order to become a nurse in the UK, you have to complete an educational or nursing education program that has been approved by the Nursing and Midwifery Council of UK, which is NMC. You must also meet the requirement of good health and good character. So, so far as you're able to meet this requirement, whether you are 50, 52, so far as you have good health, good character, and you can learn, you know what? You can become a nurse. As you know, nursing opens several doors. You would have constant or reliable income because nurses are required all over the world. You have to watch my video, which was on the benefits of being a nurse. So look at that. Some of us have been, so you will have the opportunity to look after people, to provide the care to people in good times and bad times as well. Yes, I'm not saying nursing is rosy. It is hard and we feel we are not well paid for the job we do, but you know, you would have a constant salary coming through because you've got a job, unless of course you've done something wrong and you know, you could lose your job. But apart from that, so far as you keep to the guidance, you would be fine. Nursing open doors for travel. There are people who have traveled to Canada, United States, New Zealand, I'm in the UK because I'm a nurse. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't be here. So um, I'm sorry this video is going to be very long, but if you like to know how you can become a nurse, you can actually change your career from something else into nursing. So if you want to know more, watch the video to the end. So welcome back to the main video. Once again, I'm Becky Setra. I'm a registered nurse in the UK and I give tips and advice to overseas nurses who have relocated to the UK. Anyone interested in knowing more about nursing or those nurses who are already working and living in the UK or wherever you are. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please remember to like, subscribe and share. So. Um, as I said in the introduction, I'm going to be talking about how you can become a nurse in the UK. Once again, there are several ways. One of the ways is the traditional training route. I would be talking about the postgraduate route. I'll be talking about the route through being a nursing associate, so training nurse associate. I'll be talking about nursing degree apprenticeship route. I'll be talking about how to become a nurse by training through the Army, Royal Navy or Royal Air Force. I would be talking about those of you who haven't got degrees or A-levels, sorry, you haven't got an A-level or the qualification required by the universities to train as a nurse. I'll be talking about how you can go about becoming a nurse. And finally, I'll be talking about those who are already nurses overseas and are planning to relocate to the UK as nurses. So the video is going to be a little bit long, but bear with me. I'm sure you would find something in this video that would be very helpful to you. Anyway, let's start. So we're going to talk about the traditional training route as a nurse. So in the UK, to become a nurse, you would traditionally go through, now it's a degree program, so you go through the universities, you apply as anyone who is applying in the UK to go to university. So you can either be a home student or you can also be an international student and you can apply from overseas to come and study nursing in the UK. I have got a bit of information out there, so you have to watch to the end. So anyway, before you even apply to train as a nurse in the UK, first of all, you have to consider what 
specialty or which area of nursing or field of nursing you want to work. Do you want to do children's nursing? Do you want to do adult nursing? Do you want to do learning disability nursing? Or do you want to do mental health nursing? I think at some point I will do a video on becoming a midwife as well but at the moment I'm concentrating on nursing and we have four fields of nursing. Um, we have mental health, paediatrics or children's nursing, adult nursing and learning disability nursing. Okay, so to entry requirements. So let's talk about the entry requirement of the traditional route to become a nurse. First of all, you need to make sure you check on each university's website, whichever university you want to go to, check and see what their requirements are. Some have different sort of courses so i know in leicester university of leicester does have the four-year degree or master's nursing program i think you finish with a dual registration you can have mental health and children or you can have adult and children you need to check from the leicester university's nursing program website to get more information that one is four years but most often nursing degrees are three years the entry requirement for universities each different so you need to check one of them you have to have five GCSEs at a grade four or, or which is grade C or above um, including English and maths or you should have passed your functional key skills in level two maths or English plus A levels you need at least two, uh, 112 UCAS points um, from two or more A levels, including at least two subjects, I would say, at a grade C or above. Or you should have a T level B tech, or you should have done like access course. So, as once again, check the university's website for what their requirements are. For in, uh, you should also possibly, if you have written the international. Is it baccalaureate? You should have 26 plus point. That's acceptable. And you should have English language IELTS at least level overall score of seven. So if you're coming from overseas, you need to do IELTS. You would have an interview and they would find out whether you have some work experience. Um, you would need occupational health clearance and they would do DBS. If you're in the UK, if you're from overseas, they would do please checks. So the normally intake is in 20, uh, September each year. So some universities actually, they take September, September and January. So you have to check once again on each university. The fees for the UK undergraduate student is about £9,250 per year for tuition. That is for UK home students. This changes uh, i think it's been on 9250 for a long time um so this does not include accommodation feeding or anything usually home students do have student loan to help and actually they may also be uk home students may be eligible for a 5000 non repayable bursary which is not bad a bit of um, incentive there for uk home students um, but if you are an international student once again check each university's website for how much the fees are it's quite expensive for an international student so your tuition fee alone is about sixteen thousand eight hundred and forty pounds per annum so you can calculate that over three years if you can afford that um, and then you can also check on some of the investees web page because they do offer some scholarships for overseas students so you can look into that and some universities i checked if you're an overseas student they would like you to pay a deposit of at least about three thousand pounds in order to secure a place not all unis but you need to check you can check on University of Leicester or De Montfort, of, uh, De Montfort University. So in Leicester, there are two nursing training institutions or universities, either De Montfort University or University of Leicester. So check on their website um, and you need to check for the entry requirement from your country specific if you are coming from 
overseas as an international student I had a quick look for people coming from Ghana international students from Ghana and Nigeria so for Ghana they have a lot of other requirements including YEC so they accept YEC results um, and also Nigeria, they accept your YEC results or NECO. I don't know which one that says is NECO. Those are also accepted, but check the university's website and you would also require to write your IELTS. So that's about people who want to go through the usual traditional route of training to become a nurse. So the next one is going to be the MSc or postgraduate um, route. So watch to the end. So let's look at people who would like to become nurses through the undergraduate, not undergraduate, I'm sorry, postgraduate route. So let's say you've already got a degree in a different subject and you actually want to change your career to become a nurse. How do you go about it? So if you're already a bachelor's degree holder, then you can go through the postgraduate route and it's a two-year accelerated program, I would say. And each university have their own requirement. Um, so you should have a degree, ideally, in some health-related uh, field, like psychology, life sciences, social work, or anything health-related. There are some universities who are not really bothered about whether you've done a degree in health related subject or not but it's advantageous and also if you are working within a health related or life sciences related sort of um, environment that can be helpful as well so the requirements are first degree you should have two two or two one or above it's even better you need a minimum of five GCSEs at a grade C, which is the same as four or higher, including maths and English language. You need some science subject, if possible, evidence of IT skills, either through formal education or through a self-assessment questionnaire that you would have, just to show that you can handle or do things on the computer. Um, you would also, they also accept science like biology, additional science, applied science, or you should have also done a recent study within the last five years. So if you've done a degree 10 years ago, you might struggle a bit, but you should have done a recent study at at least five years ago, or within five years. So once again, each university is different, so you can just check and you can make your own inquiry. And you need to have some evidence of relevant practical experience. So if you're working in a, uh, an area where it's somehow health related, that could be helpful. Now, let's look at international applicants who want to come to UK to do um, their postgraduate nursing degree. So as I said, it's two years. When you finish, you will get your MSc in addition to nursing and midwifery um, registration. Not all universities offer this to overseas students, so you need to check. I know Manchester uh, Metropolitan University does it. I think Sunderland um, and a few other universities, so you need to look into that yourself. The applicants from overseas or international applicants must also have overall IELTS of 6.5 in academics, uh, academics, IELTS academics, at least 6.5. Once again, check each university. It's not all of them require that, especially if you've already got a degree which has been taught on English, in English, um, you may be able to do without. I checked one of the universities. If you're from Ghana, Nigeria, and you already have a bachelor's degree, you do not need to do IELTS. So you need to check and look into that. You need to have, so international students, you need to have a police check you need to have occupational health check or clearance or yeah it's important you would be having an interview you would be writing a personal statement that you would be required to provide um, pre-entry portfolio 
which they normally make available on their website and that portfolio could take about six to four or four to six weeks to complete i think it's all about what you're doing so you need to check and look into all that to see if you're able to do that um and then what is the fees for the postgraduate degree so it's two years for home student uk based student is nine thousand uk based or home students are British citizens, I would say, or if you have indefinite leave to remain in the UK, then you would pay the home student or UK student fee, which is £9,250 per annum, only tuition fee, not inclusive, your accommodation, feeding and all that. Um, for UK student, they may be eligible to other grants or bursary or maintenance loan, I'm not sure, but you need to check from each university. Also, for international student for the master's program or postgraduate program, one year, this is only one university I checked, um, it is 18,500 18, per year, per annum. So 18,500 pounds per annum. And that does not include your feeding, travel, accommodation. So it's quite expensive. However, when you come, you can find a job and you are allowed to do 20 hours extra. So you know what, you might be able to do it. So it's important to look into this and see how you feel about it. So that's another option for you to look at. If you already have a degree, you're not getting a job, you're not too sure whether what you have studied is it's what you really want to do and you want to you know become a nurse once again nursing is not easy you will not have all your weekends you will not have your christmas days <laughs> but you know what it's a joy to be a nurse um it depends on who you are anyway so you can look into that so i'm going to be talking about the nurse route for or to become a nurse in the uk which is the nurse trainee nurse associate route. So let's watch this video as well. So another way you can become a nurse in the UK is through, through the trainee nursing associate program. So you might want to start. So with this one, most organizations, either private or NHS organizations do offer support to their staff who are already healthcare assistants or support workers who would like to move up or develop professionally to become trainee nurse associates. So nurses in the UK start from band five. So if you complete your course and you become a nurse associate or registered nurse associate in the UK, you would start on band four. Um, and whilst you're training, you train actually during training, some organizations um, keep you at band two, others pay you as band three, and then on completion and registration with NMC, then you go to band four. So you need to check for from each organization how it is done. Mostly you're going to be paid by your employer whilst you are studying to become a trainee or studying to become a registered nurse associate it's a two-year course and you know they work alongside with nurses only one step from becoming a nurse so let's look at um and actually when you complete as well you're completing with a foundation degree so why not go for it now what is the entry requirement to become a trainee nursing associate you need experience in healthcare, although some organizations or universities do um, advertise this and they would say no health related experience is required, but most organizations require people who already have health related experience and who actually already are working for those organizations because they want to help you to develop professionally. So the requirements are, I've said it already, some experience in health related setting, essential. Um, you need GCSE A to C, which is grades nine to grade four to nine. If you have those, why not? Or you should have functional skills or key skills 
level two in maths and English. Uh, so those are the requirements to become a TNA or trainee nursing associate. So if you're already working in the UK as a healthcare assistant, support worker, senior carer, when you're having your appraisal or you don't even have to wait till it's your appraisal, just speak to your manager about your intention to become a trainee nurse associate because you would be helping them. When you're finished, you're going to be working for them as a nurse. Yes, they will sponsor you, but the skills you gain, you're going to be using it for that organization. So why not speak to your manager and see if they can support you. Once again, search online. You don't really need to be working in that particular organization. Some organization, if you apply online through the NHS jobs, website or just google it i've seen that online actually you can just apply and you know when you complete and you are band four as a um, registered nursing associate you would then after working maybe after a year or two you can now apply to do a shortened nursing degree because you already have a foundation degree so you can go through the nursing degree apprenticeship program but you will do it at a, a less number of years than people who are starting so it takes a long thing but whilst you're going through you are working you're paying so you would work percentage of going to work and be trained on the job as well as going to university to do studies in order to become registered nurse associate and then subsequently going on to become a registered nurse through a shortened degree program so why not that's a good way to go out to becoming a nurse as well you would be paid you would be working you'll be studying and you know what why not not many organizations offer this kind of opportunity. So grab the opportunity and go for it. So I'm going to be talking about the nurse route or the nurse option you can take to become a nurse in a minute. So why not watch that as well to the end. So the other way you can become a nurse in the UK is through the degree or nursing degree apprenticeship program so in this program you'll be training on the job you would be paid whilst you're training to become a nurse you will be learning on the job you'll be studying part-time and this opportunity once again is offered by nhs or private organizations in the uk this is actually available so the nursing degree uh, apprenticeship program is only available in england so as you know we have in the uk united kingdom consists of england wales scotland and northern ireland but nursing degree apprenticeship at the moment it's only available in england so if you want to go through that route that route you would be doing it in england and actually it's a four year program. And when you complete the nursing degree apprenticeship program, you're going to be finishing with a degree. And once again, as I said, you'll be paid whilst you're studying and learning on the job or being trained on the job. You will get a degree at the, four, at the end of the four years. You're not going to be paying for your the program because organizations would be sponsoring you to do this course. You know, not all organizations do this. So my friends out there, whether you are male, you are female, you are in the UK, either you are dependent for an overseas nurse. I will talk about the requirement if you are a foreigner, but you know what? The sky is the limit. So let's go through. So once again, when you finish and you register uh, with the NMC, then you become a nurse. And so the way you can search for this job would be for you to just go online. Go online and search. 
you can actually search on some of the university's website. I did a search just on Google and I found a few opportunities out there. Now, the registered nursing degree apprenticeship requirements. So what are the requirements? Some organizations or recruiters are asking for experience in healthcare setting. That is essential for them. I've seen one and they have said that is not essential. Whether you have experience in healthcare setting or not, it's not really a problem. So once again, you need to look online and see what the particular university or organization who is recruiting people to become um, degree or nursing degree apprenticeships, you need to check what their requirements are before you make your application. So it is work-based learning and university study as previously mentioned. And some of the requirements you would need level three um, NVQ or diploma in health and social care or a two A level or equivalent in either social care related subject, functional skills at level two. Once again, previous experience in dealing with the public. So that could be, you might even be working in Primark or any other shop and you're dealing with the public, you might probably be working in customer service or anything like that and you deal with the public. So some of these organizations, if you don't have nursing related or healthcare related experience, so far as you've done a job in an area where you've been dealing with the public, you know, you tick the box there. Now, if you are an international or someone who is not a UK national and you that is like foreigner living in the UK, you need to meet the ESFA funding requirement. You haven't got indefinite leave to remain or you are not a citizen. You can apply so far as you've been living in the UK for three years by the time you're starting the degree program or if you've already got a settled or pre-settled status in the UK, even better, you can apply through any of the organizations to study um, as a nursing degree apprentice, I'm sorry, for four years working, being paid, at the end of it, you become a registered nurse, band five, you complete with a degree as well. So whilst you're doing it, um, each organization is different. Some of them will pay you as band two, some will pay you as band three, and then at each stage, some would pay you a certain amount as an apprentice, depending on your age. And then when you get to second year, your salary goes up. When you get to third year, your salary goes up. And then when you get to the fourth year and you complete, you become so check with each university, check with each organization. So that's about becoming a nurse through the nursing degree apprenticeship program, which is available in England. So the next one I'm going to be talking about, you know what, if you haven't got A-levels or all those other qualifications, you know, it's not the end of the world. There's a way you can get into nursing. So if you want to know about that, watch this video, the next video. So the other option through which you become a nurse, a registered nurse in the UK is that is for people who haven't got A-levels or qualifications that are required by the universities. What can you do in order to get through into nursing? So one of them, you can go through Open University or there is an online program through Learn Direct to do the access to higher education diploma nursing program. So some people call it access to nursing, but I saw a course on Lend Direct uh, website, which they call access to higher education diploma and then into bracket nursing. It takes you about two years or less to complete because it's online. You do what you, how you want to study. So it's at your own pace. 
it will help you to actually get the equivalent of three A levels, which is required by most universities for you to to apply to become a nurse. So as you heard when I was talking about the traditional route of going through the undergraduate program application process, you can use um, either diploma in health and social care courses and all the other options. So there is allowance for you to use um, your higher access to higher education uh, diploma nursing or health and social care so when you do this, it gives you three A levels to equivalent in order to help you to apply for your university place to be to do your undergraduate nursing program. I know it would take longer, but you know what? It would be worth it in the end. It's a flexible way of learning. Once again, as I said, it's online. It takes two years or less. Flexi they have flexible payment options as well. I'm not advertising for anybody. I'm just, I've just done my research. So anyway, unless of course, Lend Direct is happy to <laughs> pay me for talking about them, why not? <laughs> but anyway, they have flexible payment options. And I looked on the website, I think you pay over the number of period you're going to be doing your learning. I think it's something less than £1,500. So look into that. Go on Lend Direct website or go through the Open University and see if you can find access to nursing course. You complete that and then you can use that to go through the degree program or you would do the uh, trainee nursing associate or you can use that through the degree uh, nursing degree apprenticeship program. So that's a good way for those people who haven't actually got A-levels or the requirement for universities or the, the requirements that the universities are asking for. If you haven't got it, you can go through either Open University or Learn Direct, do the Access to Nursing Diploma course for two years or less, use that to apply to do nursing. So why not? That's a good way of going through to become a nurse if you haven't got the requirement um, that the universities are looking for. So in the next slide or video, I'm going to be talking about how you can become a registered nurse in the UK through training uh, via the army or military way. So if you want to know more, why not watch the next watch video. video, the next video. So you can actually go through your nursing training via the military, Royal Navy or Royal Air Force, um, Air Force training. Each of them do have their own requirement. So you can go onto Google if you're fascinated about becoming an army doctor, If uh, sorry, army nurse yes you can become army doctor you can research into that as well but i'm talking about nursing here today so if you're fascinated about you know becoming a, an army nurse royal air force nurse or royal navy nurse i wish i knew this long time ago i would have actually joined one of them but oh well i'm too old so i can't do it so once again each of them have their own requirements so let's look at the army's requirements so the army's requirements so it's more you'll be doing a degree or undergraduate course so let's go through and see what they have the first requirement for the army would be army nurse it's you should be 17 years and nine months by the time you've applied uh, so 17 years and nine months to at least 35 years of age. If you're older than 35, unfortunately, you know, as we grow, our energy comes down. So unfortunately, you will not be able to cope with the training and all that. So anyway, so you should be between 17 years, nine months to 35 years and 11 months before that, by the time you're entering. So student nurse soldiers would need to have 120 UCAS points plus 
three GCSEs grades between four to nine, which is A to C, you need that, include, which should include maths and English language, and either or, you should have health and social care, you should have biology, um, you should have chemistry, physics, or double or triple science, once again, you need to look at the full requirement. I think they do this at Birmingham University, uh, Birmingham City University. So you can go onto the Birmingham Uni uh, City University's webpage, search for Army Nursing Degree course, and you would find out more about this. And actually, with a soldier or Army Nursing Training course, you will end up having a degree at the end. You would actually get paid as well whilst you're doing your training. I don't know if you would be paying your fee so they will pay your training fee. I don't know, so you need to look into that. It could be they would pay for you to finish your training, but there is caveat to that to come. Now, the next one would be the Royal Air Force Student Nurse. Uh, the requirement for the Royal Air Force Student Nurse Program, you should be age 17 to 47. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, you need to check again just to confirm. You must be a UK citizen or a, a citizen of Republic of Ireland or you have been a Commonwealth citizen since birth. So if you are a Commonwealth citizen since birth, you could actually apply to become an Army nurse or Royal Air Force nurse. Um, but I think you would have to commit to 12 years service when you apply and sign up because I believe you would be paid whilst you're training and they would pay for your training so when you finish, you cannot just walk away. You have to work for them for at least 12 years before you can leave or retire. And I'm sure you might enjoy it and you would be wanting to retire or leave. Anyway, let's look at the Royal Navy, UK Royal Navy. If you want to become a Royal Navy nurse, uh, what are the requirements? Once again, you need to check on their website for the rest of the information. I've just done a little summary of each of these information to help you. So you can go now and make the full um, research yourself. Anyway, so for Royal Navy, you need to be 17, between 17 years of age to 39 years of age. You should have at least three GCSEs grades between A to C, which is four to nine. You must be a British citizen, an Irish national, or a Commonwealth citizen, or you could have a dual um, citizenship. And to add, you have to pass the naval swimming test as for me, I don't think I can do it because I can't swim. So, <laughs> but if this is what you want, why not? If you don't know how to swim, you have to go and start learning to swim because um, you would be required to pass the Royal Navy swimming test. So these are some of the options. And finally, if you are an overseas nurse, you're already registered and you want to uh, in your home country and you want to come and work in the UK as a registered nurse, there is the option there. I've done several videos. There are other uh, overseas nurses in the UK who have done several videos about becoming a registered nurse or how to relocate to UK as a registered nurse. So let's look at the next slide or video for information about that. So if you're already a registered nurse in your home country and you want to register and work in the UK as a nurse, that is what I did. I made that decision 20 years ago and I have been practicing in the UK for the past 20 years. Anyway, so if you're still back home, wherever in Africa, Asia, 
um, you know, any other part of the world and you want to relocate to UK as, and register as a nurse and practice here, the first thing you have to do is first of all, go on the UK NMC website. So NMC is the Nursing and Midwifery Council. They have a beautiful website which gives you all the information you need to become a nurse or to register as a nurse or as an overseas nurse in the UK. So when you go on the website, you'll be looking out for a section on register as a nurse if you've trained outside the UK or EU you would have all the information required on that page. You would not even need anybody to tell you what to do really. You have to do a lot of these things for yourself. So you will create an NMC account and you will start your registration. You will submit all the necessary requirements and qualification, personal details that they want. You will pay for evaluation fee for them to evaluate and do all the checks with your home country's nursing regulatory body, which would be the NMC of your home country. And then you would be asked to complete the two tests of competence. So one of them, which is CBT, is computer-based test. That would actually test your theoretical knowledge of nursing. After that, you would be required to provide evidence of knowledge of English through either doing the IELTS or IELTS, they call people call it by short IELTS or OET. Please check the UK NMC website for the new changes for um, the English requirement. They have updated their requirements. It's not too different from previously, but there are a lot of new changes there. So you need to research into that as well. Anyway, you would also require to, uh, you would be required to provide a police clearance or police check from your home country. You will also be required to also provide evidence of indemnity insurance. Uh, you would be asked, asked to also submit um, evidence of good character and health, which is required by the NMC from anyone, regardless of where you are registering from and finally to complete your registration you will be required to come to the UK to do what we call the final test of competence which is OSCE and so your employers most often would prepare you for that however some people can actually apply for UK standard visitors visa book their test to come and do the OSCE. There are OSCE training organizations in the UK, but you pay quite a few, a lot of money to have about one to two weeks intensive training in order for you to help you to get accustomed to how things are done here in the UK in order to do your OSCE. When you pass your OSCE, you can find a job in the UK. You can go back home and then reapply um, for a visa, for work visa or skilled worker visa in order to come back to UK. Once again, there are a lot of videos out there from other overseas nurses who have been working in the UK. So find out about that. So I hope if you're out there and you're thinking, maybe I actually, no, maybe I really want to be a nurse. I don't know how to go about it. Um, I know some of my, um, friends from Ghana who came, their spouses actually, either male or females, have actually, although they've qualified in different areas in Ghana, they've got their degrees before coming, some haven't got degrees, but they came over, they're able to go into nursing, some have done mental health, some have done all different or are working in other fields of nursing here in the UK. So do not sit down, do not waste the time. Time waits for no one. So please explore, explore. If you can go through the, the traditional route undergraduate, why not? If you want to go through the trainee nursing associate route, why not? If you want to go through the 
nursing degree apprenticeship program why not if you want to if you haven't got qualification and you want to go and do access to nursing diploma and use that to apply through universities why not you know and if you're already an overseas nurse why not if you want to become a nurse in the army in the royal navy or in the air force royal air force why not there are all these opportunities out there so i'm sorry look into it see what you want and go for it i'm rooting for you and i'm wishing you all the best i hope this video has been very helpful to you if you have any questions feel free to drop that in the comment section remember to like don't keep this video to yourself remember to share and i'll see you again if there is anything you like me to talk about why not put that in the comment section and i'll do a video on that for you take care of yourselves all the best in whatever decision you make whether you want to become a nurse not only nursing you can go through to radiology you can do any other you know options that you want so anyway take care stop talking i'll see you later Bye bye